Good morning. This is Morning Thoughts with Teresa Beam because I think best in the morning. Today I'm going to talk about this hard stuff that no one wants to hear. The kind of things people know to be true, but when they face it personally, immediately most people become very offended and uncomfortable and begin making excuses and begin having an inner panicked conversation with themselves, saying how they're different. You ask, what are you talking about? Well, here's the statement. Prepare to have your feathers ruffled. Being rich or famous will ruin you. I don't like to even say it because I start the inner talk of, yes, but but I'm different. I would do Good things with my money, Lord. I could help so many people, God. I would be a godly rich person. I try to convince myself and God. But God in scriptures over and over warns us against relying on money or even desiring it. St. Paul recorded in his letter to Timothy, For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. 1 Timothy 6.10 Do a Google search for celebrities who died of suicide or overdose. It's a tragic, overwhelmingly tragic, and a seemingly endless list of beautiful, rich, and famous people who hated their lives so much they wanted it to be either ended or suffocated with chemical pain suppressants. These people were not happy. People like comedian and actor Robin Williams, actress and model Marilyn Monroe, Mindy McCready, the country western star, Jonathan Brandis from Never Ending Story, Sawyer Sweeten, and he was 19 years old when he committed suicide, and he was one of the twins from Everybody Loves Raymond, Kansas City Chiefs linebacker Joven Belcher, Kurt Cobain, British actress and model who starred in Films including Serendipity, Spider-Man 3, and Four Feathers. I can't remember her name at the moment, but uh, there was Dana Plato. She played Kimberly Drummond on the sitcom Different Strokes. Then there were those who died of overdose, such as Judy Garland, Michael Jackson, Whitney Houston, Heath Ledger, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Amy Winehouse, Anna Nicole Smith, Chris Farley, River Phoenix. Remember him? He was only 23. John Belushi, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, Corey Monteith, and um, I guess he was from the television series Glee. Now, I don't know him, but he was in the list. Jesus warned us against making money and fame your goal in life, and that's the problem. People just want to cling to the belief that money is going to make them happy. But Jesus said in both Matthew and Luke, No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and many, which some translations say mammon. Jesus tells us to seek the kingdom first and foremost, and all these other things will come to us. Nobody wants to listen to this. Everybody hates this verse that Jesus said, but it He said to his disciples, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom. Those are hard words. And I know everybody wants to jump in. Oh, yes, 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 but God can do all things. Right, I agree. But the warning is for a purpose. If it was so easy, if God could just, you know, say, Okay, fine, you're rich, but I'm going to let you in. Why would he give us a warning? Luke 1, 53 says, He has filled the hungry with good things, but he has sent the rich away empty. This is Gospels. This is not Old Testament. Luke 6, 24 says, Woe to you who are rich, for you have already received your comfort. Those are the words of Jesus. So what is rich? You know, I don't know, and I don't want to even speculate, because Jesus didn't tell us. And honestly, I don't want to judge anyone. Maybe because Jesus didn't give us an exact number, we should all self-regulate. Everybody should be pretty tough on themselves about this. Luke 12, 16 through 21 tells 
of the rich man who overproduced. He thought to himself, what shall I do? For I have nowhere to store my crops. And he said, I'll do this. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And there I will store all my grains and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, you have ample goods. Let it for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, fool, this night your soul is required of you, and the things you have prepared, whose will they be? So is the one who lays up treasure for himself and is not rich towards God. And then the famous parable of the rich man and Lazarus in Luke 16, where he Jesus looks at him who was rich and said, How hard is it for the rich to enter the t- kingdom of God? Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. 1 Timothy 6, 9. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant or to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. 1 Timothy 6, 17 and 18. But the rich should take pride in their humiliation, since they will pass away like a wildflower. For the sun rises with scorching heat and withers the plant. Its blossoms fall and its beauty is destroyed. In the same way, the rich will fade away even while they go about their business. James 1, 10 and 11. Listen, my dear brothers and sisters. Has not God chosen those who are poor? in the eyes of the world, to be rich in faith and to inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? James 2.5 Now listen, you rich people, weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Those aren't my words. That's James 5.1. Revelation 3.18 says to buy spiritual gold and become rich in deeds. Wealth can actually make you naked, wretched, pitiful, and blind. In Revelation 18, 3, 19, 3 and 19, cities were brought to ruin because of their wealth. What will make you happier? Think about it. Do you believe that money will solve your problems? Do you find yourself praying for money? Do you substitute money for your Savior without even realizing it? If you pray for money to solve your problems, then you need a bigger picture of God. One of them is that wealth is not good for people. Fame is not good for people. I'm not saying that rich people do not or cannot do good things with their money. Not at all. Wealthy people absolutely do great things with their money. I am saying that money is not good for us. It is good for us if we give it away. It's the sacrifice of giving our money away that's good for us, not the having of it. Everyone desperately wants to think they are that one special person who could handle money. But I guarantee you are not. I promise you, you are not the exception in this. Wealth will ruin you and fame will ruin you. Just like drugs will ruin you. And I can promise you that it will ruin you while you are thinking it isn't ruining you. And you will one day wake up wondering what happened to your life and there is no do-over. But you won't believe me because you think you you are different. You see people who are happy long term with money, fame, and drugs. I assure you that it is not those things that made them happy. There is someone, a person in their life who is making them happy. The road of the love of money goes to hell. Follow it and you will find If you truly believe that you are the exception to the rule, if you think you can not make money your God if you had it, then I have a test for you. For six months, go without praying for money. If you can go six months without thinking about money as a Savior, then you may be that one person on the face of the earth that is humble, God-fearing, and has the faith to be rich. But I have to tell you, I doubt it. Now, this isn't a challenge for you either. This is rather to show people They are made to be dependent on God rather than money.
For more morning thoughts with Teresa Beam, go to www.sunbeamproductions.com and you have a blessed day.